Export reports to CSV essentially gives you the ability to export the reports, not in an Excel format, in a CSV format, which is cleaner and unformatted. You also have the ability to exclude report headers. That means removing the title, the date, that sort of thing. That way you get straight to the data. And then you'll, you can also set up auto export CSV when opening a report group favorites, opening reports inside group favorites. And that requires a combination of you having here in Accountant Pro also having group favorites turned on. So that second option inside reports does require group favorites turned on. And we're going to show you how all of these work. So let me go into uh, QuickBooks Online and we're going to go into reports. And I'm just going to go into any report. So I'm going to go into a profit and loss. And then I'm going to click here on the little export button and hidden inside the export button where you already see uh, ex export to Excel, PDF, and uh, Google Sheets for QuickBooks Online Advanced, which is all um, default QuickBooks Online uh, functionality. Export to CSV is what we added. This is the right tool feature. So when we click on export to CSV, essentially you come down here in the bottom and you see that a new CSV file was downloaded. When I open that, that should open straight into my Excel and then I can manipulate it in Excel. Notice it has all the information. You know, the subtotals are unformatted. So you would have to do the formatting after the fact. Um, the, the, the people that asked for this feature, that's what they wanted. They wanted a totally unformatted type of report. But let me show you where this might be a little more useful. Let me see, for example, I'm going to pull up a transaction uh, list report. So I'm going to click on transaction list by date. It's a typical report uh, that people uh, pull that has basically, you know, detail, potentially detailed information in a, in a detailed report. So let's do here, let's do all of last year. Let's do all of last fiscal year. Where are you? Last fiscal year. And we'll click on run report. And then we're going to have a whole bunch of data. So it's a typical, just a long report with a whole bunch of information. So I'm going to go into the little export button there. Then I'm going to click on export to CSV. And I'm going to click on that again. And again, because the headers are, are removed, you're going to go, you're going to see a straight, just the headers of the uh, data table itself. You're not going to see the usual headers you see with the Excel reports, like company name, you know, uh, report name, date, that sort of thing. That can be overwritten using that option. Again, let me just go back and show you that. That says exclude report headers. If I if I uncheck that, then I, I am going to see some of the report headers um, in the Excel uh, file. Let me open that Excel file one more time here. So so one of the uh, huge advantages here is that you you have just a flat file. You don't have to do any cleaning in this one other than coming down all the way to the bottom and making sure there is no uh, total, which is, for the most part, they're, they're, all, they're going to be excluded from most reports. But if they happen to have them, just go back and delete it. And then you, know, you can, uh, with a flat file like this, you can simply just, uh, uh, again, as long as there's no subtotals, but you could always uh, run a pivot table or something like that in Excel and then just get like really you know, sophisticated with the type of reports that uh, you can build. So that's exactly what we built for you. Just um, a flat file, again, mostly for the people that want to do stuff in Excel and then maybe a pivot table or something like that. Okay, let's talk about the second part of this, which is um, opening automatically opening CSVs in group favorite. So essentially, um, when I'm using a right tool and I'm using this feature called group favorites, I can create groups. Let's say we're going to do, let's say we're going to call it monthly reports or something like that. Monthly reports. And I'm going to create a group. And, and inside this group, I'm going to save a whole bunch of favorites. So let's say we're going to do the transaction uh, list by date. That's one of the ones that we run. So we're going to open the report. So we have it open in the screen. And then we're going to go into uh, group favorites. And then we're going to click on monthly reports. Or we're going to save it into monthly reports. We're going to click on save page right there, save page, and then we're going to select monthly reports, click on save. So now inside monthly reports, I officially have this report in here. Let's say I'm also going to put my vendor contact list for whatever reason I want to maybe cross section these reports, you know, cross reference some of the information on them. And maybe I can also customize and add some additional information uh, in it if I want to. So I can just customize the report prior to saving it. That's really up to you, of course, depending on the type of data. 
that you want to see in these reports. So, so you customize the report up to the point that you want to see it. Go back to group favorites, and then we're going to click on save page. We're going to save that into that um, group favorite called monthly reports. Click on save. And essentially, I'm just going to go back sort of to the to, to a home page of sorts. Essentially, what that uh, feature that we discuss here, the auto export, what that does is instead of you having to click on export on each report, what uh, right tool does is it, it's because you have a custom report or a report in a group favorite, it's assuming that when you run them in batch, in this case, there's two, that you automatically want to see those CSV files immediately downloaded into your computer. And that's what it does. So when we click on that, on the shortcut button to open them all, you're going to see that they do open. So you're going to see a tab for each one that opens. That's how group favorites work. But then as soon as they open, the the action to save the report automatically triggers. So now I have both of those reports in Excel automatically open for me. And if I had them, you know, set up for um, for removing those those headers, that would be um, that would be there as well. So that's exactly um, what it does. It just automatically saves those CSV files for you.